Hey guys, welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. Uh, today we are out and about this morning. We're taking Miss Daisy back to the vet to get her vaccinations. When we took her and her sister in to get their vaccines, Daisy had another flare up. Um, she is one of my barn cats and she has pretty severe allergies and uh, she had had an allergy flare up and the doctor wanted to treat that first and one of the things that they give is they give steroids uh, to treat her and you can't give the vaccinations and the steroids at the same time so I had to wait four weeks and catch her again and I did it took me it took me a long time to catch her this morning I almost thought I wasn't gonna catch her um, and but I got her caught and we're on our way to the doctor's office to get her vaccinations. And uh, then we will go home and get to work in the kitchen. Oh, and she's not happy about it. No, she's not. I know, Daze. Poor Miss Daze gets um, motion sickness in the car, so. She's not very happy. I know, Daze. It'll be fast. Well, that was quick. Didn't take long. Got all of our vaccines and we're headed home. Okay, now that uh, we are back in the truck, I remembered, and thank goodness I remembered. Um, I got a soil test done on our hay field and I am in uh, Mountain View, which is a town that's a, it's about an hour away from us. But they have a really good feed store here. I actually have the feed store linked in the description of all my videos. I love their feed store. Uh, but they will especially make up a blend for your soil. And they have like trailers there that you can rent. And it's, you know, like a, like you can rent like lime spreaders. You know, it's a, it's a seed, it's basically a, I think a seed spreader, uh, but you can put fertilizer or whatever you want in it and they will, they can look at your soil test and tell you what you need um, and make up a, make up a blend in a trailer that you can then just pick up and take to your property and spread it on your field. So I'm going to go in and I've never had this done before and I just know about it from asking around. And I'm gonna see if they can give me some information on what this is gonna entail. So I'm gonna do that while I'm in while I'm in Mountain View because I don't I don't get here but you know maybe twice a month. So this is my soil test. So basically we're you know we're running acidic in our soil pH. And it looks like we're, we're really high on phosphorus. Honestly, I don't even know how to read this thing. So I'm gonna go in here and talk to these people. Okay, I had to pick up my very favorite honey in Arkansas. Love this stuff. It is the best tasting honey I've ever had in my life. And I figured out um, what this means. So basically, our field is, so we're at um, 80 parts per million in phosphorus and above optimum would be 50. So we're above that even, as well as potassium, we're at 290 parts per million and um, optimum is 175 or above optimum um, and then our zinc is same we're at 18.2 and above optimum is 8 so basically down here it's telling us that we need um, 80 uh, parts per million in nitrogen uh, so our we only need nitrogen and we don't even need lime which is kind of crazy so at the bottom of the page they tell you what you need in nitrogen, potassium, um, zinc. Ooh, one of them was potash. And so basically all we need is, we need 80 parts per million 
per acre, which basically he did up the calculations and we, um, we need about 179 pounds for a one acre hay field of a nitrogen. Now here's where it gets tricky. It's made out of liquid ammonia and carbon dioxide, which is then put under really high temperatures uh, to make this compound. So now we have to make the decision of whether or not we are okay with going the non-natural route on our hay field. Um, and our hay field's nowhere near my garden, so I may be okay with that. Um, because the alternative would be blood meal. Well, we're gonna need, the difference is, urea is 46% nitrogen, blood meal is 12% nitrogen. So I would need, you know, four times as much blood meal as I would urea, and blood meal is a lot more expensive. Um, you know, like $24 for four pounds, uh, where urea is $30 for 50 pounds. So we're gonna have to kind of decide where we want to go with that and maybe research other ways that we can get nitrogen on our hay field. Um, I know that by running chickens on it, that is a really good way to add nitrogen. Uh, maybe we go that route. I don't know. Uh, we're just going to have to discuss it and see what we come up with. But anyway, that is how I read my soil test. I'm really glad I went in there and did that. And now I can do some more soil tests in the garden and stuff and know how to read them better. So um, that's exciting. Let's go home. All right, Miss Days. You're home. You're home, sweet girl. Let's take you to the barn. Okay, first things first, uh, in the farm kitchen, we are going to go ahead and get uh, my sourdough starter fed, and we're gonna get a loaf of sourdough discard bread started. Here is the sourdough discard bread, if you would like to take a screenshot of it. Okay, so now I have my 100 grams of sourdough discard, my 250 grams of water, and my 500 grams of flour in the bowl. And I'm gonna stick it in the stand mixer, turn it on, and let it go until it just forms a shaggy dough. this rest for 30 minutes covered with a towel. Okay, now it's time to do my my sourdough starter. And um, we're just going to go ahead and cut her in half. And I'll take half of it out and I'll put it in my discard jar that we just pulled from. And then I will add back whatever she weighs after I cut her in half in flour and in water. So if she weighs 50 grams, I'll put 50 grams of flour and 50 grams of water in that.
Okay, so she weighed 117 after I got done splitting her in half, and that's in grams. You measure sourdough in grams, and so I added uh, 117 grams of water, and then I added 117 grams of flour, 50% of that being wheat, 50% of that being white flour. Now I'll just mix her up and put her back in a jar. Now she's going to go back in the fridge and wait until her next beating or until I want to make bread. And that is going to do it for today, you guys. Uh, if you want to see how that loaf of bread turns out, you'll have to come back and see me tomorrow. Uh, I hope you guys had a beautiful day. Thanks for coming along with me on mine. I will catch you guys on the next one. Yours truly.